All right, another dating thing. Okay. You ready for this? Yeah, so always. a guy said, I I don't know how I'm going to say this and be kind of clean, uh, but I do want to get your reaction to it. Um, he said, I just had sex for the first time since my divorce, and uh-huh. I'm stunned by what the woman said afterwards. He says, I'm a heterosexual man uh, in his mid-30s who just got divorced a year ago, hasn't mm. had any sexual partners until this one night. So they met somebody, they've been dating for a few dates, and before they even hooked up, they had a conversation about not using condoms. Whoa. Saying that, that they didn't want to, that neither one of them wanted to? Yeah. He said, I'm not into it. Some guys aren't into it. And she's like, that's fine. Wow. Okay. You know, some chicks say that. All right. Um, so they were doing the deed. The mm-hmm. deed was going quite well. Okay. And how do I say this? <laughs> he he done. <laughs> he done. <laughs> he, he, he crossed the finish line. I'm not helping you. I want to see how you get yourself out of this one. Yeah. Uh huh. He finished the race. Okay. Okay. And uh, he stayed on the track. Uh oh. <laughs> and his runners kept running in the track, I oh, should God. say. But th- did they plan that he was supposed to get off the track? No, they never discussed it. <gasps> but they discussed not wearing a condom. But they do know what happens if you don't wear a condom and you have sex, right? They understand the consequences of that. Yeah, I understand that. But okay, no, no, you do. It sounds like they didn't. <laughs> okay, but so she was furious. Yeah. And she said he should have never uh, finished the race and let uh-huh. the, the whole team finish the race without her permission. It's just like rape. <gasps> oh, wow. Needless to say... That ended the night and the relationship. So he's really freaked out now about dating anybody. And uh, he's like, well, what do you think? So I want to get your thoughts. You know, that happens sometimes. You know, when you're running the race. Every once in a while, like I'll see somebody not wearing a mask in public and I'll be like, wow, I think that might be the dumbest person on the planet. But you know what? This guy rivals the people that are out in public without masks on during a pandemic. He is the dumbest person on the planet. If you have sex with somebody and you don't use protection and you don't have a conversation where you decide, okay, if we're not going to use protection, what are we going to do? Am I supposed to get off the track? Mm -hmm. Can I stay on the track? You know, is she on a pill? Like you should have that conversation. It shouldn't be a surprise. By the time you have the conversation, once you're done, it's too late. You're, it's too late by then. Okay, you so can what, say so what that happens now. If, what happens if he got her pregnant and she and she decides to have the baby? So now he had a one night stand with some woman, and now he's got a child he's got to take care of the rest of his life, and a kid that grows up without a father because they're not in a relationship. Okay, you can say this all you want. You're a '90s chick. You've been in this situation. Yeah. So so have I. We've both been in to where the race doesn't end. <laughs> You know, uh, outside of the racetrack. (laughs) 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 And and that happens. Yeah. So should she have gotten mad about it, even though they discussed not wearing a condom? No, they clearly didn't discuss it. All they said was, I'm not into condoms, me neither. She should have said, well, if you're not into condoms, then you should also be into pulling out of the race <laughs> you know maybe this race isn't for just at some point while you're running do i the finish race. the race in the field <laughs> <laughs> do I <laughs> finish the race <laughs> yeah exactly fin- finish the race on your own <laughs> you know what this- <laughs> exactly it- it- it's no longer uh, a tandem race. You're now, you're now, you're now running. Instead of running a decathlon, uh, you're now running a marathon. Yeah, I just don't think she should get mad because if she really didn't want the race to be over like that, then they should have handicapped the race. No, they. Uh, yeah, this is really a gray area because they did have a conversation. But they didn't have enough of a conversation, but he should have stopped and said. Listen, I'm about to finish the race. Right. Uh, um, 
should I wait for you to catch up? I mean, what, what, where are we now? Like, what should, he, should, he should have stopped and said. Hey, you can't. <laughs> the first time here with, the, yeah. the, you know, it's hard. The finish line was right there so fast. Right. And you just go, ah, I'm done. It's, it's like, wait, the, the gun just went off. What do you mean you're already <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it was you're a, the tor- you're the tortoise a short of the hair. I guess you're the hair. It was a short track. <laughs> and the next thing you know, you have a, a, you know, the finish thing on your chest. You're running through the. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd, ra- I'd rather have the tape, the finish thing on my chest. Than anywhere else. OK. Than inside the field. Or on the field. Yeah, that's a conversation that they both should have had beforehand. I'm sorry. That's it. They should have had this conversation they, right yeah, they here. They should have had this conversation. Exactly. Yeah. Where do you want the finish tape? Yeah. Where's Where's the finish line here? <laughs> am I pulling out of the race? <laughs> <laughs> and if I am, I mean, even if you do pull out of the race, some of your friends can still have, you know. Yes, I understand. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of pressure now on men to be a little a little more conscious of that kind of thing and a little more chivalrous and a little more um, communicative. Otherwise Mm -hmm. you come across completely selfish, completely. I don't know. I see, I, I see her point. I see her perspective here. It probably did feel for her at that point. Or maybe she thought she was clear about the fact that, yeah, I'm not into condoms, but you know, we need to be careful. 